Oh boy, got the camera on me right now. <laughs> Haven't had the camera on me in a while. Oh boy, I got a lot to talk about. A lot to talk about, and I don't have a lot of time to talk about it. Okay, where do I begin? All right, I think the last YouTube video I uploaded was maybe like two or three months ago, and I was concerning the vision of the Ancient of Days the most high in the English and the Hebrew El Elyon Elohim or in the Akkadian Sumerian Anu right so we going back because you know we use those ancient languages those ancient tongues those ancient words to relay that we are an ancient people unto the most high the most high is chosen people you know, a lot of information that came out over the past, what, a year, two years about so-called black, so-called African-American, so-called Afros, that their true identity are, they are the, the yous, the Yahudim, you know, um, I won't use that J word since that's reserved for other folks, you know, but ancient historically we are those ones those chosen ones set aside reserved unto the most high you know um so yeah prophecy is speeding up you know prophecy is speeding up a lot of people now they're more familiar with the stuff that's happening in the international scene you know with the BRICS, the brick countries brazil russia india china south africa and now they got a whole bunch of new members, right? They got Argentina, they got uh, the United Arab Emirates, uh, uh, you know, all of those oil rich nations, uh, Pakistan, all of them, they're all coming together because this is biblical prophecy. They're lining up with the, uh, uh, the other folks, you know, the Eastern countries, they're not NATO bound. Um, because, you know, this country that we find ourselves in called the United States of America is actually the new Babylon. Um, it's, uh, you know, the daughter of Babylon. If you go into, I believe it's Isaiah. Yeah, probably my brother Isaiah goes into that. Talks about the daughter of Babylon. Oh, daughter of Babylon. Oh, virgin daughter of Babylon. See, the virgin daughter, meaning that this country got all of its witchcraft, sorcery, all of that stuff from the old Babylon. And then they took pieces because, you know, the rulers, the Chaldeans are actually, you know, so-called, uh, well, <laughs> they're referred to as Edomites, you know, from the tabernacles of Edom, Esau, <laughs> you know, uh, <laughs> they got that. They also had remnants of um, ancient Egypt, and it's all mixed in the one, right? And it's the whore, you know, that spreads all of its philosophies and its monetary policies and its military, uh, you know, prowess onto the other nations of the world. So now all the other nations of the world are coming back in order to <laughs> wage war against the whore, you know? And um, yeah, the bricks, the bricks, they're coming to throw brick <laughs> at this country, at this people. Um, and it's, it's, you know, I laugh because, you know, it's, uh, it's just funny at this point, you know, when the most high opens up your eyes and starts revealing certain things and you start seeing scripture play out, it's just like, wow, you know, <laughs> I knew it was gonna happen, but to actually see it in real time, a whole nother thing so i just laughed it off but um yeah you know now we're coming to them to them times you know last video i uploaded um i was talking about you know time times and half a time you know back in the ancient days daniel you know that seven year that seven year that seven year prophecy so the book of revelation draws heavily from Daniel's prophecies, Daniel's end time, eschatology, you know, uh, time, times, and half a time. That's when, you know, 
unfortunately, the saints of the Most High will be used and abused by this nation. And now we're at that time where it's coming to an end. You know, I didn't serve out my tribulation. I didn't been going hard, you know, since 2020. And I started having all of those dreams and visions. January, I had a bunch of dreams and visions. It's like, wow, you know, shocking, scary. Um, you know, relay some of those to certain people, you know, started getting into them books, started reading scripture and, and you know, more stuff starts happening, more experiences. And it's just like, wow, this is it. This is uh, this the seven years, you know, seven being a, you know, number of completion, seven days to create the heavens and the earth, right? Seven candlesticks. Seven, um, seven churches of Revelation, seven menorahs, you know, which are copper uh, representative also of the angels, you know, seven angels in front of the throne, the seven seraphim, the archangels, Mikael, Gabriel, all of them. I'm not gonna go into all of that detail, but yeah, it's um <laughs> at that middle mark, and now a lot of people, unfortunately, still. They still not taking heed. They're still not seeing the signs of the times. They're still doing the things that they were doing back in 2020 before that, but also doing the things in 2020. I'm thinking that, you know, stuff is normal, stuff is okay, or stuff might be getting better. No, it's not getting better at all at all it's going to be harsh calamity it's going to be famine on the streets if you go out in you know any major u.s city you're gonna see homelessness everywhere you're gonna see people drugged out bugging out you know especially if you're in <laughs> the belly of the beast which is the city that i was born and raised in New York City, aka Gotham City. <laughs> you see a whole bunch of crazy ass shit. Excuse my part of my French, but that's just what it is. The belly of the beast of Babylon, right? So yeah, all of this stuff is happening. So there's no good that's coming at all. You know, if you're watching this and you're new to me, you know, this might come off, you know, harsh. Even if you're familiar with my work videos, tweets, whatever, it might come off hard. There's no good coming to this place. Get it out of your brain. Stop hoping because reality is here now. And I'm not the only one that's been pushing out these things. A lot of people, whether it's through Instagram, whether it's through YouTube, whether it's through TikTok, whether it's through people that you see on the uh, in the streets and whatnot, you know, this stuff is getting to the people. It's always been in the people's decision. Or it's always been in their hands to make the right decision or wrong decision. The choice is y'all. But I'm here to say, there's nothing good that's coming. It's only more destruction. There's only more calamity. There's only more judgments. It's not good at all. And, you know, I say this as, you know, a, uh, you know, a parent, essentially, you know, um, I know it's rough on a lot of folks, you know, particularly the women and the moms, right? Because this Babylonian system ran by Esau, Edom, who you might call uh, the quote unquote white man. Now, even with that, that's a whole different thing because there's no whites, right? This color game and stuff that's been spread out through this landmass, this country, it's all BS. But there is a particular seed of Satan that control this nation, that make the power plays and the moves. Them. Pushed out a lot of wickedness, a lot of vibrations, a lot of stuff on our folks and throughout the world. And, you know, the 
Most High created them essentially as a whipping tool, as a chastisement stick um, to, you know, go to and fro to thrash all of the indigenous peoples around the world. But anyway, to relay it back, the women, you know, unfortunately, y'all, particularly my, you know, so-called black, so-called African-American sisters, Latina sisters, you know, you live, we, you live in a patriarchal system ran by that one, you know, unfortunately, unfortunately, and you know, it's sad because, you know, y'all have to endure and go through a lot of this, particularly even single moms, you know, in our communities, I was raised by a single mom. I'm a, I'm a product of a single mother household. So I know exactly what I've seen it. I've seen it. And, you know, my heart definitely does go out to y'all because it's rough. But I will say this. I will give you, sisters, you mamas, you ladies, encouragement. You will be protected. You will be cared for, you know, if you're doing the right thing. And I'm not going to dive into all of the nitty gritty because I do know there's women that watch my channel. I don't know if there are mothers that watch my channel or see my content and stuff like that. But... If you are, you know, a woman of the most high of God, you, you try your best. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has slip ups and falls. Nobody's perfect, but you will be uh, protected. Um, I would just recommend that if and this is for the single women, single mothers, the other women who have husbands, that's a whole different thing. I have nothing to do with that. But for the single ones. I will say this, if you're doing the best that you can on, you know, weekly basis, you're working on yourself, you know, the most high will provide safety, will provide protection for you. So you don't have much to worry about. I would just recommend try not to focus too much on a lot of the celebrity stuff because they're going to catch judgment and they're going to get done off. Uh, it's a, it's... <laughs> Is, is the finito season for a majority of them. So I always recommend, you know, you know, watch a show or whatnot, but don't get too deep into that. You should get more deep into uh, communicating with the Most High, whether that's through, you know, reading some scripture, whether that's through just taking easy, connecting in nature, you know, going to the park, getting some sunlight, going to the beach, whatever have you, you know, being, uh, making sure that that connection is, uh, is is strong um so that's for you know you single moms out there because it's gonna and this i'm not trying to like push fear but it is going to get horrible you know and i already know y'all's guards are already sky high you know being that you are women more so as a single woman or more so as a single woman with a child. So your guard is always high. Um, but it's, it is going to get bad. But nonetheless, that intuition be used. Use that intuition. And you will be directed in a, a good space. Um, I would just say this. Don't listen to your local government. Don't. Anything that's on the news, them, them saying this stuff, don't listen to them. Because they're trying to steer as many people down to the slaughterhouse. The slaughterhouses, the FEMA camps, the, uh, all of that stuff, you know. Um, yeah, I would just don't do the opposite, do the opposite, you know. Uh, what else do I want to mention? I know I've been kind of like speaking all over. Um... You know, it's pretty much just coming up at that time. You know, these prophecies have manifested. They're continuing to manifest more rapidly. Um, you know, I watched a video on TikTok of a, you know, uh, pale-skinned woman. Um, don't necessarily, I can't necessarily pick up her exact, like, ethnic origin. Um, but she was pissed off with the state of affairs in this country and in fact she was a single mother of two children um and you know just
completely pissed off with the way things are going, you know. Uh, I'm not going to get too deep into that, but so even for um, other demographics within this Babylonian matrix, they're tired of the BS. So, you know, uh, there's even a scripture that goes, I uh, can't remember, maybe it's from Ezra. You know, they shall not regard their, their kings and princes, you know, the populace, the peasants, essentially, <laughs> in this system, we're peasants. They're rising up. If you're not of that upper echelon, Chaldean, you know, uh, old money uh, bloodline, you're still a peasant, whether you have pale skin or not. Um, they're, you know, they're, everybody's tired of the BS. So now, you know, <laughs> the kings of Edom, you know, whether it's Biden or it's uh, Trump, whoever you have you, uh, <laughs> They're just essentially fulfilling biblical prophecy at the end of the day. This has all been wrote, not wrote, I should say. It's been uh, created from the most high. <laughs> Join is deep. I'm not going to go too heavy on to the, uh, to the celestial, to the cosm cosmological type of roots in our, of our existence from where we come from. I've been dropping a lot of that information on Twitter. If you have a chance, check it out on Twitter. You might, you know, find it interesting, eye-opening, and more, uh, give you more of a, uh, just give you more information that you probably may have not crossed or heard of. Um, where am I at right now? I'm at 17 minutes. Yeah, I've been blabbing for a while, so I'm going to cut it short. And, you know, please, once again, anybody who views this video, whether it's a brother you know, sister, <laughs> gang stalking agent, <laughs> just, <laughs> well, the gang stalker, that's a whole different thing, but anyway, whoever views this video, you know, may the most high continue looking out for you, may you also make the right decisions in these times, in these dire times, and may you also use this period of grace as best as you can, because you don't know how much longer you got or I got, we don't know. So please make the best use of your time. All right, peace out.